here, zooming out, getting the bigger picture, high pressure to our north and now low pressure to our east east here both kind of working together to uh, move some moisture into our viewing area that could lead into a potential stray shower or heavy downpour for some of our southern counties overall though for our viewing area mostly dry now here's the system potential tropical cyclone 16 winds are at 35 miles per hour now in order for this to become a tropical storm winds need to become over 40 miles per hour, which is why it's not technically a tropical storm yet, but the National Hurricane Center is saying very high potential of that, which is why they started issuing the advisory as of 11 a.m. Pressure sitting at 10, 12 millibars, moving northward at nine miles per hour, relatively slow, but not too slow. And then as it makes its way northward, we're looking at a tropical storm within the next 24 hours, moving northward into Friday. It looks like as we head into the weekend, that's when it makes landfall anywhere just north of Wilmington, potentially in North Carolina into the Virginia area and then eventually turning back into an area of low pressure. Now I'm just looking at the future view. Like I said, that moisture transportation is kind of moving into our viewing area, could lead into a downpour here and there as we head to the evening. But looking out into the Atlantic Ocean, you can see, you know, a good bit of rainfall is associated with this system. Most of the rain is actually to the north of the system as it makes its way northward. So a good bit of rainfall along the eastern coast, anywhere north of South South Carolina and up really. Meanwhile, central Georgia and Georgia as a whole remaining very dry. In fact, because we are south of the low pressure system, for the most part, we are going to remain dry as we head through the entirety of the weekend, which is going to feel really nice here. Now along the eastern coast, all the way from St. Simons, all the way up into the uh, northeastern portions of the United States, we could still strong rip currents, dangerous surf. So that's sort of the main impacts here. But again, this is only expected to be a tropical storm. I don't want to overhype this. Nothing significantly major, but I'm thinking very heavy rainfall for some areas that might not see as much rainfall as there, as we do here in central Georgia. And then, like I said before, those very strong rip currents and dangerous surfs along the eastern coast. A tropical storm warning is in effect for portions of North Carolina making their way northward into the Virginia area. Dew points are going to dry out as we head into the weekend, which is good news for us at least. Like I said, that drier air is going to funnel in. 